Moonlight Nana. Hello everyone, I'm Moonlight Nana and this is my ninth Medibank Pink Pro tutorial video. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope it can help you start off your first step in your digital art journey. In the previous tutorial video, I explained about the Move tool and its function bar items. I also touch on the subject of moving layers in the layer window. For this Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video, I will explain about the navigation window. Let's get started. Here I have drawn a line art of a cow cartoon. You'll notice at the navigator window over here that the same line art is displayed. This is the main function of the navigator window to display the drawing on the canvas as a whole. Let's check out the icons up here. The first icon is the actual pixels. It, dis it displays the image on your monitor so that one image pixel uses exactly one monitor pixel. Let's click on it and now you'll see that there's a red block, a red box on the navigator window. And the art on the canvas somehow became bigger. Actually, the size of the art didn't change to become bigger. The display screen simply show the art on the canvas at a closer distance. That is why it looks bigger. And the red box here shows the display screen of your canvas. The second icon of the navigator window is the zoom in icon. Everybody knows what a zoom in is, right? Simply put, it adjusts the canvas display so that the image seems to be bigger and closer. For example, I'll click on this zoom in icon once and see that the small box becomes smaller to adjust uh, the display on the canvas to be closer and bigger. Okay, um, the more I click on the zoom in icon, the smaller the red box become and the closer the display on the canvas. To return to the original display, simply click on the third icon here, which is the fit to window size icon. And see that the canvas display is as it was, and the red box also returned to its ori original size. Opposite uh, to the zoom in, the zoom out icon, which is over here, Adjust the canvas display so that the image seems to be smaller and farther away. Let's click on its icon and see that the canvas display becomes farther than before. The red box uh, also is less visible up over here because um, it has the display has become bigger than the window size. Now let's click the zoom out again and the display the canvas display becomes even farther away and smaller and this time the red bo box is completely um, out of the navigation a navigator window and again and again now here's a tip about zoom in and zoom out function if you don't want to click on the zoom out uh, the zoom out and the zoom in you can simply uh, use the scroll on your mouse to zoom in and zoom out without using uh, or clicking on the icons okay you can also do the same with the navigation window like so okay now no matter how much I zoom in or uh, zoom in or zoom out the canvas display is the only one that changes in size okay but the art display on the navigation window will never change its size because that is its main purpose to display the origin original canvas art as a whole uh, from the original on the canvas display all right so now let's return the canvas display to its original by clicking the fit to window size icon over here 
before we move on to the next icon on the navigation uh, na navigator window the next icon after zoom out after zoom out over here is the um, rotate left left icon its function is to rotate the canvas 30 degrees to the left let's click on it you can see that the canvas display is now turned 30 degrees to the left and each time you click on the rotate uh, left icon the canvas will rotate another 30 degrees to the left now please note that the actual drawing or art is not actually rotated it is only the canvas display that is rotated now if you want it to return to the original canvas display before the rotation simply click on the clear rotation over here and then you'll see that the canvas display is returned to its original position the opposite effect from rotate left icon happens when you click on the rotate right icon over here the rotate right icon functions to rotate the canvas display 30 degrees to the right like this the more you click on it the more it rotates easy to understand right now let's return the display to its original first which is clicking on this clear rotation icon now if you want to rotate the canvas in a degree that you like instead of the 30 degrees you can do so by adjusting the horizontal scroll uh, just underneath this row of icons at the far end of the scroll is the amount of degree rotated to rotate using this scroll click and hold this uh, thingy in the middle then drag it to the left or to the right until you get a satisfactory rotation degree you can refer the degree of rotation at the far end when you're satisfied with the rotation simply release the mouse you may also click on any end of the scroll um, to add 10 degrees to the rotation in its respective direction like so okay it's very easy right now let's clear the rotation and move on to the final icon of the navigation window which is the um, flip horizontally icon okay the final icon for this let's directly demonstrate the function of it and so i'll click the icon and you'll see that the cow cartoon line art that was facing on the left side is now facing on the right side thus it is flipped it is as though it mirrors the image display you'll notice that the cow cartoon is facing uh, facing the right side in this uh, display screen uh, canvas display but in the navigator window it is still facing the left side now I repeat once again that the canvas display is the only thing that changes. The original art or drawing is not changed in any way. The navigator window will continue to display the original and actual image on the canvas. To return the cow cartoon line art, line art back uh, to facing the left side, simply click the flip horizontally icon again, like so. Alright, so I have covered all the icons of the navigator window but there is one more thing I'd like to touch on about the navigator window. Let's take a look at the display on the window here. You'll notice that there is a hand over at the navigation window right now. And when you move your, uh, and when you move your cursor, it is as if that this has become the cursor. Now this is called the hand and if you click and hold it, the hand will turn into a fist or is clenched. So when you move your mouse while holding the click, you will move the display on the canvas like you see right now. So let's zoom in here. You can also use the hand to drag the box, the red box, to focus on a particular display of the canvas art. Like for example, I want to um, focus on the red horn, uh, the, the horn. Therefore, I simply drag the red box to the horn. The canvas display will focus on the horn. 
The same goes for when I want to focus on the heart shape down over here. So, as you can see, the canvas display will focus on the heart shape. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so this is one of the convenient way for you to focus on your on a detail in your drawings. Simply move the red box over here using the hand cursor. Alright, now I've already covered the topic of navigator window, so I hope you're clear about it by now. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial video of Medibank Paint Pro. Please like this video and subscribe to Moonlight Nana channel or follow me on Facebook. Together we help each other out in our art journey. Have a blessed day ahead everyone.